Hello everyone, welcome back to another watchin'. Today we're going to take a quick follow-up look at one of the watches from my wheel spins from Watch Gang. So at the time they only had one tier level on the wheel of watches and your minimum watch you were going to win is, is similar to the basic subscription of Watch Gang, which that's actually what I ended up getting was two watches that are basic subscription level, um, which for my spins, I think uh, ended up being about $40 per spin. And really, I kind of wanted to do it just so I could make videos on them and, and tell you guys about the wheel spin. Now, they've up, updated the wheel. Um, there's different tier levels. You earn points through your subscriptions and through you know, uh, getting other people to sign up and you can still buy points. Now, the cool thing is, is you can win higher tier level watches through the wheel, but at least uh, it's a little bit of a gamble, but at least you're going to win, you know, a watch or get a watch out of it. So this is one of the watches I received. This was the Jet Set. San Remo J7438. Now there's actually quite a few different versions of the Jet Set San Remo, different color combos, different, um, yeah, I mean, just different dials, different, quite a few, quite a few options. And I couldn't find this exact one online other than at Joma shop or some of the places and they were at full retail, which was like 200 and some odd dollars. But I found some similar sound San Remo's probably in about the $70 range, 69 and some change free shipping off of Amazon and a couple other places. So, you know, this watch cost me 40 bucks and you could, you guys could probably find something similar online for around $70, which isn't horrible. I mean, the watch is, it does have a Japanese quartz movement. It's got a 2405 Myota movement in it. Um, nothing super special. Actually, that movement is fairly small. If we crack this one open, it's, you know, the movement's really, really small. It probably has a fairly large uh, plastic spacer in the back. Um, this one does have, you know, the crown protector, the, the little screw down crown protector. Um, rose gold isn't my favorite color. I still say it looks kind of brass or coppery. To me, the numerals look more rose gold and the case looks copper, but that's, that's just my opinion. Um, but it started to grow on me. The funny thing is, which if you guys watch my videos, you'll see that I received a TW Steel, very similar to this, but it's an automatic movement. And I'll be doing a follow-up on that one pretty soon. And so because the watches are so similar, I've actually been wearing the TW Steel more because it's a little bit nicer watch. But this still has a nice look. I like the black around, around the uh, bezel here. It, it is just a mineral crystal. You know, it's a it's an inexpensive watch, but I don't think it's a bad looking watch. The good thing about having this one and having it look like the TW Steel, which is a little bit more expensive watch, is if something happens to this, or I could wear this one where situations might be, there's a, a bigger chance for damage, eh, it won't be the end of the world. Let's take a look at it on wrist really quick. I'm wearing my, my Balmer from one of the other monthly subscription watches I received. Um, the cool thing about this jet set is if you were one of the bigger wristed guys, I mean, I, I do admittedly have a smaller wrist, so but I'm on the last hole, so there's definitely a lot of room. This one would have been a, a good watch for one of the bigger wristed guys if that was their subscription. Um, I think it looks pretty good on wrist. Now this one, let's take a look. I can never really tell if you guys can see the... The numbers all that well here but this one has whoops I don't think that was quite zeroed it wasn't all right so this one has about a 47 millimeter bezel 
Now with that crown protector, it takes it pretty big. It's a 55.6 millimeter. Um, I believe the band, yeah, about 19 and a half, 20 millimeter on the band. Um, if you go in lug to lug, some people like to know that about 56 millimeters lug to lug, which can make a difference. I mean, if you look at me, I have a little bit of a, I have skinny wrists, so it does stick out. This is a pretty thick watch too. I didn't even think to do the the thickness. It's about hmm, hard to do with it on. About 18 millimeters thick. Um, let me pull it off really quick because I can throw it on the scale, which I don't think the scale shows very well on camera or with the lighting setup I have. But let it go ahead and zero. Like I said, I don't know if you guys can actually see those numbers. Um, I, I, I weighed it earlier. It was about 3.88 ounces, about four ounces, which doesn't sound like that much, but by the end of the day, you feel it compared to some of the lighter watches. Um, I like it though. You know, for a $40 random watch, and I had the chance to get something higher dollar, and some people did. Some people got some really nice stuff off of their spins uh, it would have been cool um, but you know for 40 bucks it's not too bad and like I said it's a, on the internet around $70 if you want to get something similar but I don't know let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments as always thanks for watching if you like what you see please like and subscribe